There are currently 24 mythic brawlers and brawl stars and today we're going to be going over 5 random facts for each of them so let's get right into it. The beach time motor skin was actually created all the way back in 2019 and was shown in this bizarre beach animation but the skin itself was released 2 years later in 2021. When looking at this graph you can see that motor is at the bottom since he has a really high usage rate compared to his really low win rate and that just shows how many people actually play Mortis and how how he can be considered overrated. Mortis used to have a top hat in the early days of Brawl Stars, but once the game Global launched, his hat was removed from the default skin and that caused people to be mad, so Brawl Stars ended up adding a top hat Mortis skin for free to make up for it. Mortis has a Night Witch skin, which is a reference to the Night Witch that exists in both Clash of Clans and Clash Royale, which are both other Supercell games. Mortis by far has the most amount of skins out of all the Mythic Brawlers, with three of them exist thing just because of the top hat. A week after Tara was released, her health was nerfed from 800 down to 700, but just one month later that nerf was reverted, meaning it just basically never happened. And yes, this was before the health of every brawler was multiplied by 4. The first season of the Brawl Pass was called Tara's Bazaar, which is obviously based off of Tara, and it is the only season that directly mentions a brawler. Martin actually created the voice lines for Tara and and he had to use a ton of special effects to create those voice lines since they are pretty unique and sound really different. Tara has had her class change two times. First it went from skirmisher to fighter in January of 2020 and then it was changed to damage dealer in October of 2021. Tara has also had her flavor text changed two times and I'm not gonna bother reading them out for the sake of time but the first change was in June of 2022 and the second change was just in October of 2023. When Gene first came out, using his super will cause the entire game to crash for you and everyone nearby and caused him to be removed for a short while before the glitch got patched. Gene had actually gotten leaked about 3 weeks before he was announced in Brawl Talk and the leaked footage looked to be from when the game was still in beta, meaning Gene had actually been something Supercell was working on for a while, which just makes the whole crashing bug even crazier since they had so much time to figure that out. Gene has so far received exactly 2 2 times more buffs than nerfs. I counted all of them and it comes out to be 20 buffs and 10 nerfs over the 5 year period he has been in the game. In April 2022, all of Gene's skins got little changes to their visual effects to fit the skins better. In Gene's icon, it shows that he has two vampire type teeth, but in his actual character model, he doesn't have any teeth showing at all. Max is supposed to be a spin-off of Lightning McQueen because both of them share the same red and yellow colors and Max's master title of I am speed is a reference to McQueen's saying of I am lightning. And another similar fact is that her name is also the same as Max Verstappen who is one of the best F1 drivers in the world and has actually won the world championship for 2021, 2022, and 2023. The street where Max skin had a bug that put the display of her wall onto her face but this ended up getting fixed in March of 2021. Max is actually the opposite of Jean in the fact that she has so far gotten 2 times more nerfs than buffs. She has gotten 12 nerfs while getting only 6 buffs in about the 4ish years she has been out in the game. Max has 4 super rare skins which is the most out of any mythic brawler and really is a lot in general considering she only has 1 rare and 1 epic. All of Mr. P's skins are from special events except for the Agent Mr. P skin, which is also his only rare skin and the cheapest one. Mr. P's 10 can star power was renamed in August of 2020 and changed to Revolving Door because it was reworked so that the pores would spawn a whole 3 seconds faster. Mr. P has had his class changed twice, with the first change being from Sharpshooter to Damage Dealer in October 2021 and the second change taking him to Controller in February of 2023. The voice actor for Mr. P is the same person who also did the voice lines for Tara and this makes sense because both of these brawlers don't actually actually speak, they just make interesting sounds. Mr. P hasn't received a direct nerf in practically 3 years. April 7th of 2021 was the last time he received a nerf and he actually got 
three of them, which were all pretty big nerfs. And Sprout's GG pin, which is supposed to be a thumbs up, he actually shows his left hand. Meanwhile, every other brawler shows their right hand. If you set the game language to French, then Sprout's name gets turned into Wally, which is a reference to Wall E, since both of them also look pretty similar. Sprout is actually a guarding robot and not a robot controlled by a plant, which is what most people used to believe. And this was confirmed in a tweet by Paul Chambers, who used to be an artist for Brawl Stars. Sprout has actually received 4 times more nerfs than buffs, with him getting 8 nerfs and only 2 buffs, and it has also been basically 3 years since he received his last nerf. Sprout Super actually used to be able to destroy spikes, but this was a bug and got passed in November of 2021. Baron is the newest mythic brawler to have received a mythic skin and also the second one overall with the only other one being Janet. There used to be a glitch where the wizard Baron skin's animations will glitch out when you use jump pads but that was fixed about a month after the skin came out. The wizard Baron skin also used to only be exclusively purchased for 25,000 star points but once the star points were removed from the game the skin then became available for 149 gems and also became available to be bought for 5,000 bling. Byron's You Need My No Noob Cure voice line actually isn't used in the game since no one has actually heard it in game even though it is an official voice line that is supposed to play when he kills an enemy. Byron has received an equal number of buffs and nerfs with both of them being at the number 6. Squeak's attack could actually be cancelled out by Surge's teleporting. Squeak's newest squeaky note skin which was added in February 2024 is actually his first rare skin. He had gotten 4 super rares and 1 epic before ever getting a single rare skin. When Squeak's residue gadget got added, it was super OP since it could reveal enemy brawlers hiding inside of bushes, so there's an emergency fix literally the next day which fixed this. Squeak has gotten his class changed twice. The first change was from fighter to damage dealer in October 2021 and the second change was to controller in February of 2023. In the period between October of 2022 and until now, Squeak has gotten a total of 6 different skins which is the most frequent out of any other brawls in the game over such a period of time. There used to be a thing where if you had more than one Lou on your team, they would all share the same freezing bar. Lou got his name because it rhymes with Igloo and he is a snowy brawler and his head also also kind of looks like an igloo with a round dome like shape. On the back of the burger Lou skin you can actually see a thumbs up icon. Lou has either only gotten buffed or only gotten nerfs in a straight period of time. What I mean by this is that the first 10 changes were all buffs and the last 3 changes were all nerfs meaning you never had any sort of back and forth like you have with pretty much all the other brawlers. Lou Super actually used to crash the game, though it ended up getting quickly patched and not many people even knew it was a thing. Brawls is the only brawler that was released after the global launch of Brawl Stars that actually received a name change, with it going from Colonel Ruffs to just Ruffs. The smoke in Ruffs' angry pin actually comes out of his nose, but for most other brawlers, the smoke comes out of their ears. Ruffs currently has the lowest usage rate in the game as of writing this, with it being just at 0.33%. Ruff's flavor text has been changed three separate times all within about one year with the first change happening in August of 2022 and the third one in October of 2023. The last time Ruff's got a skin was over one and a half years ago with the last one being his chimney skin which came out in July of 2022. Buzz's circle actually lasts for 10 minutes and you can test this out by just going into training cave and timing it. Buzz has only received two buffs and zero nerfs which is pretty crazy considering he has been in the game for almost 3 years now. And the two buffs are both just buffs to his health meaning he has 4800 health now instead of the 4200 that he originally came into the game with. Buzz actually used to have a really unique class called Buzzassin, but when Brawl Stars decided to simplify the classes, he was changed to just be a normal assassin. Buzz doesn't actually have any super rare skins, making him one of the only brawlers in the game to be like that, which is even crazier considering that he has been in the game for almost 3 years now. Buzz has been proven to kind of have an ego since he likes to try and use as much of his lifeguard powers as possible in order to get people in trouble. 
when you kick with the default fang skin, your screen shakes like normal, but when you do it with the octo fang skin, your screen doesn't shake at all. The last 7 changes fang has received have all been nerfs, with 6 of them just being in the last 4 months and all relating to his hypercharge. Fang actually has 5 epic skins, making him the only mythic brawler with that many, and 2 of them literally just came out a few days ago as of writing this, and those were the red and blue pitcher skins. Every single Fang skin also has at least some yellow in it with obviously the exception of his true silver skin. The Kabocha Fang skin is actually one that won the Super Soul May competition and it was created by Glowing Shark and its original name was Spectral Warrior Fan. Eve has received 6 times more nerfs than buffs with her having gotten 6 nerfs and only 1 buff which is a pretty crazy ratio. Eve has the lowest amount of skins for any brawler that has been out for over 2 years with her only having 2 skins other than the true gold and silver with one of them having been a brawl pass skin as well. This also makes her technically technically have one of the highest average skin prices, since those skins will be at an average of 149 gems since both of them are of epic rarity. Eve is also a little interesting because in her flavor text, it says that she wants to protect her babies, but in the game she actually shoots them out and if you think about it, they should technically die on impact. Eve had her aiming line reworked twice, with both of them happening about a month and a half from each other. It has been confirmed that Janet and Bonnie are actually sisters inside the game. Janet is shown to be the older and more responsible sister because her flavor text says that she always rescues Bonnie and is also probably why Jane is mythic while Bonnie is just epic. Janet only needs a legendary skin to join the very few brawls in the game that have a skin of every single rarity. Janet had received 8 entire nerfs before finally getting her first buffs in December of 2023. There was a bug where Janet's winning animation was changed on her default skin to go and look like the one for her dark fairy skin and this also caused the shading and stuff to look weird as well. Otis has the same text for all of his voice lines but if you listen to each of them you can see that they are all different and it's different versions of him seemingly drowning or trying to talk underwater or something else. There was a bug with Otis where if you shot before dying then you would get server error 43 and this was really weird but ended up getting patched about a week or two after he was released. Otis only has 3 skins and they're all epic, making him tied with E for having the highest average skin price. Otis has gotten his damage changed 3 times with the first change bringing it up to 460, the second change bringing it down to 440, and the third one bringing it back up to 460, basically making the second one just not matter. There is a pretty popular joke in the community where people said that Otis's voice lines were created by Super Soul Drowning a Child, and honestly it could still be plausible since no one actually knows who the voice actor for him was. If you look at Buster from the side, you can actually see a few pixels of white which is showing his eyes, which otherwise were completely covered with his sunglasses. Buster got 10 nerfs in a row over the span of just 2 months, which is definitely the most of any brawler and even crazier considering the very short period of time this happened in. Since his release, Buster has lost 320 damage in his main attack, but they go from 1700 to just 1380 and it had even been as low as 1320 before it got buffed a little bit. Buster is known to be a thief since he stole a projector from the movie theater he worked at and now uses it to kill people. Buster is also another brawler that only has epic skins with him only having two of them. The only colorful parts of grey are his eyes which are a light yellow and the button on his pants which is a golden color. Grey has the least amount of voice lines with him only having five which are just some sounds as well and not really even voice lines. The only brawler with less will be Spike since he has none but he also doesn't really count since he will never get voice lines in the future. Gray's flavor text used to ask what the definition of orthochromatic is and the definition is basically all light except for red light which is interesting since the mythic rarity is the color red. Auto aiming with gray super actually will shorten its length compared to if you were to manually be aiming it and I'm not really sure why this is. Gray received his first and so far only buff in June of 2023, before that he had gotten two nerfs. RT has actually never received a buff as of this video, instead he has just gotten two nerfs which were both in February of 2023. The Morse code voice line for RT translates to 4XZ, 
which sounds a lot like forks, but I'm not really too sure what that exactly means. There used to be a glitch with Crimson RT skin where you would just always have a super and you were basically able to just deal an infinite amount of damage and it was just really crazy, but thankfully it ended up getting patched pretty soon. RT used to be really big and it was basically the size of the safe and heist and this really made no sense since he looked like a pretty small brawler in the animations. RT is the newest mythic brawler to have received true gold and server skins with them coming out just in late February of 2024. Willow is actually the only female thrower in the entire game, which is pretty interesting. Willow has only received a single nerf, which was a pretty big one as it reduced her speed boost from obsession down to 25%, all the way from what it used to be at 75%. And she has also received 5 buffs, meaning the nerf to buff ratio is pretty wild. There used to be a glitch where the game would crash every time you use Willow Super, which led to her getting removed from the game for a little bit while the issue got fixed. There was an issue that caused Willow Super to not work on Miko for some reason, making you unable to move him while in control, but this was patched pretty quickly. Willow is one of the few brawlers that currently does not have any true silver or gold skins. Dog actually has two unused animations that are supposed to play during the super, one when he is reviving and the other once he is revived. Dog looks like a hot dog but he actually isn't one. He just wears a hot dog bun jacket around him and it does help sell more hot dogs, which I guess works out for him. Doug has the most voice lines out of any other brawler with a lot of them being more on the shorter side and he does have one pretty sus voice line but we let it pass since it is Doug. Doug is also similar to Willow in that he has received one nerf and five buffs. It can be assumed that Doug and Buzz both have a bit of a competition between each other since in Doug's voice lines he mentions lifeguards and stuff about water a lot and Buzz is obviously a lifeguard as we all know. Chuck used to just spawn in with his super already fully charged but that changed on the 24th of October in 2023 when the devs removed that and I'm not really sure if that was a bug or something intentional. Chuck has alternative desert scorpion voice lines for all of his normal voice lines except for the ones for when he is activating his super. Chuck only has one nerf and zero buffs though this is pretty normal considering he was just released in October of 2023. Chuck is also the first mythic brawler that was actually available to be bought in a bundle for early access and he costs a whole $20. Chuck does also already have legendary skin which is a desert scorpion and this is honestly really interesting just because of how new he is in the game and this skin was also just added about 2 weeks ago as of writing this. Charlie is definitely the craziest brawler when it comes to nerfs. She has gotten 11 nerfs while only getting 1 buff and the even crazier thing is that this has all happened in the span of only 4 months. There are literally brawlers that have been here for years that don't even have half as many nerfs. When Charlie was added to the game she came with 2 skins which is unique since most brawlers tend to either come with 0 or just 1. It was actually possible to get auto disconnected when you were stuck inside Charlie's cocoon. Charlie was a chromatic brawler for only less than 2 months because that's when the rarity was removed and she became a mythic. The last 3 nerfs Charlie has gotten all relate to her hypercharge with them just reducing her damage, speed and shield boost by between 4 and 5%. Miko has separate translations for his voice lines in Chinese with the Wukong skin which was added for this year's Lunar New Year. Miko was actually a free brawler when he first came out in mid December 2023 and he was free till the end of the month to celebrate Christmas. Miko also has gotten the most skins in the shortest amount of time with him now having 3 skins including a legendary all within only 2 months. Miko has gotten exactly 1 buff and 1 nerf and both of these were to his hypercharge. Miko is also one of the few brawlers to come into the game already with the hypercharge. Melody is the newest brawler in the game as of right now and she has a mix of both English and Korean voice lines for her default skin which is a first. Melody is also currently only unlockable by purchasing her through a $20 bundle. Melody currently has the highest win rate but the lowest usage rate and a big reason for this is obviously because she is currently locked behind her bundle. Melody got her name because she is a better musician as shown in her flavor text mentioning Carrie as well as the music notes all around her. Melody is currently the only brawler in the game to have zero skins though that isn't too surprising considering she is like pretty new to the game. But that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.